Hi everyone, this is Asma Mushtaq from the Double Wives and in this tutorial, I am going to discuss how to draw the timing diagram of simple D flip flop. Here is the block diagram representation of the D flip flop where you can see this is the data input. Okay, here is the clock signal and there is no bubble present outside this clock. So that's why it's a positive edge trigger D flip flop while here you will be getting two complemented outputs which are q and q bar so when q will be equal to 1 then q bar will be equal to 0 and vice versa all right now looking at these timing signals we can see here is the clock pulse as well as the data input and uh, corresponding to that we will draw the output line fine since this is a positive edge trigger edge triggered d flip flop so we will talk about the changes at every rising edge fine and i will draw the waveforms for the q and q bar okay so when the rising edge of the flip flop arrives we can see that at that moment input is equal to 1 and it remains at the logic level 1 until the next rising edge of the clock signal is reached okay so for that Initially, we will assume that Q is e 0, fine, and when data D is equal to 1, uh, the output will also be equal to 1. Why? Because D flip-flop is also known as the transparent flip-flop, which means that whatever the input is present will be forwarded at the output side, fine. So, here you can see the output will be equal to 1 for that whole clock period. Now when the next rising edge of the flip flop is arriving we can see the data is switched to zero so that's why its value will be equal to zero fine and you can observe it till the next period of the clock signal now when the next rising edge of the clock signal is arriving again the data is zero so that's why this clock uh, the output will be equal to at the logic level zero and similarly for the next rising edge again the data is zero so that's why we will set its value equal to zero fine now when the next rising edge of the clock is arriving we can see that the data is switched from zero to one so that's why the output q will also be switched from zero to one and it will remain one for the whole input cycle where the data is equal to 1 so till here now for when the next rising edge of the clock signal is here we can see that input is switched to 0 so that's why it will be switched to 0 and again I can draw rest of the waveform using the same logic one thing more since q bar is the complemented output and it's the complement of q so that's why its waveform will be the invert of q so something like that can be drawn easily fine so this is basically the simple timing diagrams of the flip flop thank you for watching